Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland for Graphic in Motion. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I'm very happy to present to you my new template. It's called the Gravity Showroom. It is my first template where I used Cinema 4D and After Effects. But, of course, if you want a template, you do not need Cinema 4D. You only need After Effects CS5 or higher. Because all the... 3D background videos are pre-rendered. So be aware that you cannot easily change the animation of the balls and of the room. But of course, what you can do is you can change any text, you can change any footage, and you can change the complete look of this template. And that's what I want to show you now. So the first thing we want to do is we want to change the titles. You see that the animation starts with three introduction titles and I will just show you how you can change them. So we will go to our project window and there you see a folder called the text placeholders. This is the one you want to open. And then you can see a lot of different titles and title one, two and three are the first three introduction titles. And right now we are looking at the title three. So we want to change this one. So I will just double click at this composition and it opens up. And here we have only one text layer. So we will double click on this text layer and we will enter some text. And then we, of course, want to move it. Press V for your move tool. We want to move it in the middle of the composition. Therefore, we have this cross here. And then when we go back to our render comp, you see that the text changed. What you can do is change the font, change the colors, change the style. This is up to you. Create the look you need and you want. Second thing I want to show you is how you can change the footage. So we will just move to a frame where we have already one of our footage placeholders here. This is this, the first one. Therefore, we just move to our project window again and search for the footage placeholders folder. Open this one up. And now we select the footage one composition, double click to open it up. Then we go to file, import, import file. And I will just choose one of these beautiful ladies, which I also used for the preview video. So import it, drag the picture on top of the placeholders. Now you can delete them or disable them or also just leave them there. Then I press scale to scale down the photo because it's a little bit too big so that it fits the comp. And now I go back to the render composition to check the final outcome and you see that already everything updates. The next thing I want to show you is how you can edit these texts here or the titles here. This is also very easy. You can see that every footage has two titles. Uh, one is up here and the other one is kind of a subtext down here. And if you want to change these titles, you just have to come back to our text placeholders and then you will find the subtitles, which are, of course, the texts down here. And you will find the titles of the footage, which are always up here. I will just show you how to customize one of them because it's really always the same. So we move to our subtitle footage one. And we will double click on it. And now we see there is also only one text layer. Be careful and check the position of your cursor because it is possible that you will not see any text here. That only means that the text did not animate on yet. So you just take your cursor and move it to the right until the whole text is visible. To change this text, we just double click the text layer again. And now I write, please rate when you like the template and we press V and move it to the middle of the comp go back to our render comp and you see it already updated of course you also can change the text style the text color and everything here now I want to show you something which I consider is very important and very useful and that is that you can change the appearance of the whole template very easily. 
you see that the template uses more or less two colors, which is this uh, bluish greenish color here and this pink violet color. And also the light streaks which appear here are using the same colors. You see that here we have kind of a um, cold bluish greenish light flash which is more or less the same color tone as this one. And then from time to time we have um, kind of this, I will search a frame where you can see it, like here, you know, kind of this pinkish light flash. And you can change the look very easily, because if you take a look, for example, at this photo, it doesn't really look that good with these cold colors, because it's a very warm picture. To change the look of the template, you just have to go to the render composition, move down, and then you see this green layer, which is called the change color layer. We select this layer, and then we go to our effect controls window, and now you can see two change color effects here. The first change color effect will change our greenish uh, bluish color and you will see it. I will just search a frame where we have the light, also a blue light flash like here. And let's say we really want to set this to a warm color because our picture is very warm. Of course, what you also could do, you could also animate this. Yeah, don't forget. If you want to animate it over time, then just you have to just to animate the hue transform value. And this is also the value you want to change if you want to change the color. So now we want to change it to, let's say, some kind of um, warm red orange color like this. And the second color I want to change to kind of, I don't know, let's say a, a yellow. And now you see the whole look changed, not only the color of the balls and of the light, but also the color of these little elements on the screen. So you can really customize the look and just adjust it to your needs, your corporate identity, or just your footage that you will enter here. The next thing that I want to show you is how you can customize the reaction of our light flashes to the audio. When you take a close look at the preview video, you will see that the light flashes are in fact audio reactive. And I just want to show you how you can do this if you decide that you do not want to buy the license for the sound by QuickBoy, which I used to create this template. But if you want to enter your own audio, I will show you how you can achieve that the light is reacting to your audio. So the first thing we want to do is that we import some kind of a song. So let's say we just want to take this hardcore dubstep and I will just drag it on top of my old audio file and delete this. And now I have to convert the waveform from my sound file into keyframes in After Effects and After Effects can help us there pretty easily. We just go to animation, keyframe assistant and convert audio to keyframes, of course, with our audio layer selected. And now After Effects will create a layer which is called audio amplitude. When you press U on your keyboard, you can reveal all the keyframes which After Effects created. You can use the left, the right or both channels. In my example, I want to use both channels, so I just will delete the left and the right channel. And now what I want to do is that my light will take over the values of the slider. That means that the light will exactly follow the intensity of the wave of my audio. Therefore, I will just go to my effect controls of the audio amplitude layer and just lock it. I will need this later. Now I will go to my light and press U. And now you can see that the light is in fact just a lens flare and we control the intensity of the light through the flare brightness value. At first we want to delete the expression that the light is not reacting to the old audio layer. So I will just select it and delete it. We hold down Alt and click on the stopwatch of the flare brightness. And now we pick whip this value with the slider value. 
you are more or less done now but when you scrub through your animation you will see that the intensity of the light flashes is pretty weak because the audio normally doesn't create numbers that are so high that we really get a bright light flash so you want to multiply this value and a very good value therefore is 2.5 so i will type in times 2.5 and now when i scroll through my animation you see that the light flashes are pretty nice and pretty strong if you have any more questions feel free to write me a mail through my video have profile or through my homepage which is gravicinmotion.com and i thank you very much for watching the tutorial thank you very much for your interest in my templates and thank you very much for your support and i really hope to see you soon bye